If your Motorola or any other Android phone is not receiving any text messages or the verification code is not coming via SMS in time of urgency, this might be really frustrating. But don't panic. We're going to show you why this might happen and how to fix this issue. We're using Motorola Edge 50 Fusion for this video, but this will work just fine on any Moto series phone like EG Stylus or Razer or any Android running on Android 15. Okay, so first make sure your Motorola is not on Do Not Disturb or DND, as well as Aeroplane mode is not accidentally enabled. If that's not your issue, and if you think your message inbox is almost full, just go ahead and delete unimportant messages from there. At the same time, if you're using RCS chat, this might also happen. So just go ahead, tap on your profile, to messages settings, to RCS chats, and then just go ahead, turn it off for a while. Now, if you're using any third-party messaging app, try to use Google Message as a default message service, which is pre-installed on our Motorola. So for that, open up settings and search for default apps to the default app settings to SMS app and make sure it's selected to Google Messages, which we are already using. If you're still not getting that message or the verification code you're waiting for, just go ahead and force quit the messaging app along with all the other windows. And then just tap and hold on your message app from this info icon. To storage and cache, just go ahead and clear cache of your message app. Now this sometimes happens for just some minor glitch, so what you can do is immediately give your Motorola a restart. A lot of time a restart can solve glitches if that's the main issue. Now, sometimes this also might happen for network-related issues in specific areas. So you can either change the location and then try again, or you can just go ahead and reset network settings. For that, open up settings once again, search for reset, to reset options, enter the settings, to reset mobile network settings, and then just go ahead and reset settings. If you have dual SIM, you have to reset mobile network settings for both of your SIMs. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.